All right, YouTube. Um, just wanting to bump it up again is um, is how to form up the copper coil if you don't know how to do this already. Is You can do it with a mandrel, uh, with a tool. Um, if you can afford that or if you can find it or anything like that for the half inch. They're kind of high even to making a small, like the, the coil on the back of a refrigerator. Tools, a couple hundred dollars, what I'm saying, 150 no less. Um, but another way to cheat is to get a mandrel or a um, well a form a shape it, it helps if the if the shape that you're using is taller than the coil that you're going to make um, it greatly helps it, you can still do it especially if there's nothing like handles on it or whatever this was a hassle because of the handles so i'm just warning you about that um, but otherwise just charge it up 90 100 pounds of air cap both ends of the coil um, charge it while it's still in a big, you know, they come in a big box. Here we go. They come in that big box, that big coil. Um, so to bring it down to the same size as the center without kinking it, it it's not like too hard if you charge it with air. Um, it, it won't, you know, you'd have to like try to kink it. I'm not saying you couldn't. Um, you could probably just bend it and it would kink, but um, it makes coiling it or making coils out of it extremely easy um it gets like the the one for the, the rocket stove there is there's a i was going to explain that one too there's an inner tube in the bottom of it that pushes up a piece of plastic that'll hold the concrete up <coughs> excuse me um no i don't got the covid i just smoked too much weed is um or resin or whatever you want to call it but the the concrete needs to have something to keep it up so there's going to be an air bladder in the bottom once the concrete set around then i'll take the air bladder and in the interim is i'll just pack the edge with like plastic bag or even paper or whatever just to keep the concrete from um, filling the void right up to the edge and um and not fill up anything over the top but take the bladder out this is quick setting concrete take the bladder out replace it into the door the next day and then fill the door around the door um in jazz like that or i've thought about just masking around the door and then filling it all at once i don't know we'll see how that one plays out as it goes um but i'm just saying the air bladder from the bottom is what's going to hold the concrete from falling around the edges and um and the same thing will work when i go up over the top but is the the device here is i'll use the upper canister to wrap the coil for the the two coils that'll go inside then this coil will be the first one well i already took it out but the exhaust is that oval in the back um, and it'll be the first one down on that pipe to take out all the heat but that'll still be in the thermal mass section of the stove you know that'll actually be in contact with masonry so okay guys this is just another bump like i said and where i'm at with this and um I might have to take a day or two off for the chicken's sake, but we'll see. We've got some bad weather coming. All right. God bless from, from Colorado and all and all like that. And um, hope you all enjoy the videos. And like I said, easiest way to make a copper coil without kinking it up, charge it with air. Even if you got that silly tool, way easy, um, supreme way to, to keep it from kinking. Okay. Talk to you then.